Hello and welcome back to the Wild Mama podcast. I have been really feeling in my heart to come into this space and have this conversation with you. And I'll be totally honest, I really didn't feel quite like I was prepared compassionately and enough to have this conversation from the place that I really want to have it. And the universe has given me a number of opportunities over the past couple of weeks to really take a look deeper, both into how this concept plays out in the world at large and also how I feel about it, what my perception is about it. And I really required me to do some cleanup around this topic of conversation. Again, totally honest, I think in the process of recording this episode and in sharing this with the world, I think, looks blue? Yeah. A little bit. I think there's going to be a lot more that really unfolds around this as well. So today we are talking about (coughs) mom guilt. And for those of you who are already deep inside my world, you may have already had to listen to the guest spot I had on my friend and colleague's podcast. Uh, her podcast is called Freely You. Her name is Sarah Heredia. She is a beautiful soul and has her own potent magic to share in this world. And she very kindly invited me into her space to have a really in-depth and super honest conversation around every single thing that I love to talk about regarding motherhood and womanhood. And it was awesome. And (laughs) I will be sharing that in my podcast as well, because I think as her and I discussed outside of the podcast space, this is the kind of conversation that really we want to invite more women to have. It's so powerful and it really gives us an opportunity to take a look at, at ourselves and, and our motherhood choices and really step into a place of ownership, which is the seat of power in motherhood. So mom guilt came up and there was a point in the conversation with her and I where she said you know what like do you where she just flat out asked me she said do you experience mom guilt and I said no (laughs) and that (laughs) hey Ophelia please don't do that my darling love hey we're being respectful of money of the space here welcome here with me but just don't muck around with everything please thank you so much she laughed and we did talk about it and I won't talk about what we talked about there we're stepping into a new conversation here it really stuck with me because I then women kept coming up in conversation talking about mom guilt and we're not talking about how I almost (laughs) it is our organic produce delivery is here our acceptance as women in society at large is that mom guilt is just a totally natural thing that we all experience. So this is very curious to me. I've always had a curiosity about the general things that are accepted and my feelings of misalignment with them because I have two eyes and I live in this physical world and I do look around at people and I, I, I you saw always say I love people watching and as I came Mom, more into my own magic, I, <laughs> I really started coming into feeling people as well. And there's so many things in motherhood that I haven't related to and that haven't made a ton of sense to me. And That's this whole cool. mom guilt thing was really really is just one of them and the energy that women carry around it when we talk about mom guilt is there's a deep sadness around it I'll be honest in what I feel and there's an acceptance that this beast of a machine that women suffer in that mothers suffer in is just the way it is and I haven't gotten into a lot of conversations outside of the podcast. So let's dig into this a little bit. When I sit here very confidently and say that I do not experience mom guilt, I do experience feelings of guilt in my life. 
I simply just don't equate it with being a mom. I don't equate it with motherhood because in my experience, that's just not true. To say, this is a big bold thing for me to say, a little uncomfortable, but I'm gonna say it anyways. The concept of mom guilt essentially is just a disgusting little package that allows women to feel like they're part of something bigger while deep down under the surface, the sludge underneath is that they're blaming their children for the way that they are. So guilt is real. So what is guilt? Guilt means we feel bad about something that we've done. Hopefully we all know the difference between guilt and shame. Guilt is we feel bad about something that we've done and shame is feeling bad about who we are. So in mom guilt, we feel bad essentially about what you have done in your motherhood. And I will reference the podcast I guessed it on just maybe one more time because I actually asked her to explain to me a little bit more what mom guilt is for her, saying it's not something that I experience. I, I hear about it. Uh, I just wanted to really hear from her what it was. So I invite you now, as you're listening or watching, to just really ask yourself, like, what is mom guilt for me? Is it something that I've just noticed other people experience and say, in this commonality of shared experience, I too have mom guilt? Is it just a concept that you've adopted kind of blindly and unconsciously without really considering what it is and what it means for you? I do believe that the majority of women have done that. I think there's such a need, I know there's such a need for women to come together in motherhood and be, for women to be in shared experience in motherhood and to have that support and to be in a safe space where there is no judgment. And mom guilt has found its way in here as kind of a band-aid solution for women to feel okay settling for crap that they normally wouldn't settle for in motherhood if they had somebody potentially me in their world saying this isn't okay and i'm going to be really big and bold here and say that mom guilt is not okay not only is it detrimental for you, but it has a negative impact on your children, it has a negative impact on your family, and it does have a negative impact on the world at large. The expansion and the ascension of humanity, we're all here to feel good, we're here to enjoy our lives, to experience love and joy and bliss and ease and happiness and all of the good things that you want. And motherhood is no exception to that. So this concept of mom guilt really is just kind of like putting a, I forget what the name of those things are when you little this little tool that douses the flame of a candle um but that or putting a lid over i'm fumbling around for the words but hopefully you know what i mean putting a cover over the light that is meant to shine from a woman from a woman when she steps into her role as a mother and it is an interesting place to be to sit here as i do and say I don't experience mom guilt because there are things that I have done or said or uh, that I'm, I'll stick with done or said things that I have done or said to my you know with my children or in space with my children that I bad words. <laughs> saying bad words that I felt bad about um I have occasionally lost my temper uh you know Ophelia remembers my mama threw some Tupperware down the hallway one time and I didn't feel great about that I felt bad about that and I didn't say all right I'm just gonna leave this as it is and feel bad about it and muster about it and adhere to this whole concept of mom guilt and then lay in bed at night and wishing blaming myself I should have done better and all the things that just get really big in your head I tended to it in the moment and I took the pause and for those of you who've been in my world or will be in my world, you're going to hear probably this story come out a lot because it was one of those moments that really was a powerful moment for me to realize who I was and who I wanted to be and consciously make that shift in the moment. I tended to it as we all need to tend to it. If there's something in your relationship with your children as a mother, whether it's how you're interacting with your children, how you feel when you're in space with your children, 
how you think mm -hmm. about your children that you feel bad about, that needs, needs to be tended to. So if we're not tending to our relationships and we're allowing them to go unmended, mm -hmm. then those that feeling of, oops, I messed up, turns into, oh my God, this is so big, and now it's just gotten too big, and it just creates distance between our children and us. And that's ultimately what I'm here to embody and to lead the way on is getting rid of that space that separates us from our children. I heard a really cool thing the other day. My husband actually sent it to me about how when we're pregnant, the physical cells of our babies, even if they've been miscarried or lost later in life, if they're no longer physically here and this planet is, this child of mine is physically right here, those cells will live in your body forever. I stare at you at this point. I love when you stare at me. <laughs> And that was just such a cool concept because energetically, uh, I've, I had a miscarriage before my daughter was born and it was a really interesting spiritual process for me to move through that. So energetically, I know that I always carry that soul with me. I just hadn't, wasn't aware of the actual physical presence of cells in our body after that. So that's a really cool thing as well. So there is, even if you're in that world of scientific evidence, there's so much scientific evidence that proves the energetics and the physicality of our children being not only with us, but a part of us. And the society we live in and the concepts that we adhere to, mom guilt being one of them, there's so many things that just put that little bit of space between us and our kids. And then you compound them all together, our children are very far away from us. And that's not where they're meant to be. We're not meant to be separate from our children. Our children are not meant to be separate from us. We are meant to... School. School separates your mom from your children. Yes, it does. And I'm sure we'll get into talking about that too. Not today. <laughs> to play around for just a moment, the briefest of moments in the grand scheme of time and say, what if, what if I could snap my fingers and I wouldn't be experiencing mom guilt? What if mom guilt was as this wild mama is telling me here is is not real what if it's just something that we all made up and we're all adhering to and we're all suffering in and okay they can just refrain from doing that right now please my daughter thank you so much what if it wasn't real what if it was all make-believe what if we made it up because let's face it this is all made up we make this up you are the creator of your own life you are the creator of existence, literal life, your children, you have created that. This is you. You are the creator. You are the master of ceremonies. You not only create it, but you direct it and you produce it and you star in it. You're the leading lady. You're also the villain. You're, you're everything. So what if we could just go in this beautiful mix and then just find this festering blob that is mom guilt and just pick it up and toss it aside play with me for a moment and say that we can where that then leaves us you say okay well if i can't blame being a mom for my guilt because mom guilt's gone but i still don't feel good why because i think on the surface, I told my husband the other day, catch me yeah. when you hear me saying I think because I preface that and it really, I feel, weakens what I know. It's just me coming into my own boldness, speaking what I know. I know. I know, I know, I know that mama, all mamas, we are here to be in bliss and joy with our children and we have immense power to take like ridiculously super crazy you can't even fathom kind of responsibility and ownership for who we are and be the leaders of our family in a way that allows our children to just like flourish and thrive and become who they came here to be and as I said at the beginning mom guilt really is say um, <laughs> I feel guilty so I feel bad about something happening in my momhood 
and when it's related to that momhood, it's got that underlying festering vein of blame on our children. And even if we're not conscious of it, because so much of this is unconscious, that feeds into our children. And our children came here to be a divine integration and uplifting of the expansion of our family and our enjoyment of life. Nothing else. Yes, yes, yes. Punch in the fists up in the air. Ophelia's doing that. For those of you listening, you can't see her, but those of you who want to see what she's up to and just how delightful we are regularly. Yeah. Mm. I was the bad stuff away. Oh, she was throwing the bad stuff away. Yeah. Throw it away. Check us out on YouTube if you haven't already because that's where the video podcasts live. There's just so much glory on the other side of this. And it may sound really big and it may sound really scary and it may sound really crazy, but I promise you that I sit there. It was an interesting thing and it continues to be an interesting thing to be asked. You don't experience mom guilt? I say no. No hesitation. I don't. I don't experience mom guilt. I don't know what that is. I see people talking about it and even at uh, at a birthday party over the weekend for a friend of my daughter's, we, I had a mom say to me, well, mom, I didn't even bring it up. <laughs> it comes up around me. And so I think it's just natural. All moms experience that. And 100%, I, there was kids and stuff all over the place. And um, again, I wasn't really quite in the right energetic space to have this conversation yet. Uh, I didn't want to get into it with, with her. I didn't feel like I was in the right space to do it. It's not natural. It is not natural. Mom guilt is not natural. It is something that we created, and I don't know why we did it. And I refer to we as just the general humankind. I'm not going to go down the patriarchal thing and say men created this to keep women down. (laughs) However it happened, it doesn't matter how it happened. Uh, There are so many systems in place that are specifically designed to separate mothers from their children because that's the power. this, This connection, this being together, this is the power that creates work. We have the capacity to create life. And we have the capacity to create systems and concepts that don't serve us. And we have the capacity to conform to them. And we have the capacity to continue to live and operate in them. And we have the capacity to change them, to step out of them. And again, what is possible if mom guilt wasn't real? I was a bit of a tangent, so we're coming back here now. Oh, I love a delightful tangent. Coming back to what's possible and what's here if mom guilt's out of the way. If it's just guilt. Okay, so mom guilt's gone, but I still feel bad about something. What do I feel bad about? And then you get to get curious. Then you get to start asking yourself questions and, and define what's really going on. When we have the ability, and so much of society at large does this, to say, oh, well, it's mom guilt. Everybody has it. It's okay. Move on to the next thing. And I think that, (laughs) there I did it again. If we are not willing to take the time to get curious about our own lives, to make change that's really impactful for us and our children, what are we here for? What are you doing if that's not what you're doing? If you don't wake up every day with uh, extreme hunger for curiosity and play and expansion and growth and knowledge and wisdom then there's really something that needs to change in your life because at the end of that road it's disappointment in self for having wasted a beautiful journey or what could have been a beautiful journey so if we're dealing with guilt if you're feeling with dealing with feeling bad about something you can look at it and say well I feel bad that I don't have enough time with my children. I feel bad that when I do have time with my children, I'm a stressed out mess and I'm super snappy and I don't have patience. We can feel bad about not having the ability yet to slow down and enjoy the moments. We can feel bad about feeling like we're not doing good enough. We can feel bad about all of these things. We can feel guilty about all of these things. And then what? Okay, great. You identify that you don't feel good about something. What can we do? How can we change it? And that's where people get stuck and say, I don't know how to change. I don't know how to make the steps out of this. I'm, I'm stuck at this place and there is no other way. And this is how it is. The simplest way to go about it is to just question, what if? What if it was possible 
whatever it's looking at. Let's pick one example here and just say, I feel bad because I don't have children. <laughs> the patience with my children that I would like. I snap at them. I've got a short fuse. I, I hear that a lot from women. I just don't have the patience. And I snap at my kids and I feel bad about it. That's so let's look right. at that. Rude. Let's mend that. Let's get it mended. Because it's not about being perfect all the time and not making mistakes. And it's about mending. Anything can be mended. And the sooner you mend it, the quicker it heals. Right? It's like if you cut your hand and all you do is, you know, go out in the world and rub dirt in it and not wash your hands and you pick at it and you keep it open. Like it's going to fester and turn into a really big infection. You're going to have a really big problem on your hands. And that's the same thing. If we snap at our children and you don't mend it right away, well, there's an open wound. And then the next day, if it happens again and you're lacking the patience and you snap at your child, then you're throwing dirt in the wound. And then if it happens again the day after and you lose your patience with your children, well, then you're, you're you're picking at it a little more and then that wound just becomes bigger and it festers and that wound, as big as it gets, is the separation that becomes larger and larger between you and your children and then all of a sudden you wonder why. It doesn't have to be big things. Maybe it's just something small, you know. I'm not saying you're out there just screaming at your kids every day because you have no patience, but it's like a quick a quick snap. Of, it's okay, all, all moms lose their temper. No, they don't. And even if they did, who cares? Did you want a temper? No. It's not about. Okay, apologies. I we had a bit of a technical difficulty on the video, so lost about a minute. I'm not sure uh, exactly where that cut off. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna jump back in um, the best that I can. Here. All right. So some small technical difficulties. We're coming back in and hoping to come back in shortly to. <laughs> To where we were talking about mending so everything that happens with our children if it feels out of misalignment and we feel bad about it or we wish we hadn't done something it's we mend it we can mend it in the moment and we can heal it and we can move forward it's all the little things that please be respectful i've asked you very nicely you know how this works thank you It's the things that don't get mended to, the small little ones that really, unfortunately, have a really massive impact. The things that don't get tended to that just, well, the little scratch, you know, a little scratch one day. I actually have one right here on my, I can probably see it right there on my hand. It's the dog, not this one, the other one. <laughs> scratch me. And, uh, you know, if I came at this every day and I just kept picking this scab off and, and it would continue to get worse and it would become a really big problem. So that's the same thing in patients, use an example of patients with our children or anything else that you don't feel good about, that you have guilt about inside your life that you're equating to your motherhood that has nothing to do with motherhood and has everything to do with you and your lack of ability and your lack of willingness to really take radical responsibility for who you are and how you feel. That's what this comes down to. It comes down to total, complete willingness to surrender to yourself and your demons and take responsibility for who you are and not blame motherhood for it because motherhood is motherhood is just another extension of love it's it's beautiful it's perfect it's pristine it's flawless and because we as mothers and as women lack the willingness to take full responsibility for who we are choosing to be inside motherhood well we blame motherhood and well who's on the other side of motherhood is our children so we cannot escape the fact that if you right now are operating the system of mom guilt you are operating in a system that energetically is blaming your children for how you feel and i don't know about you but that is definitely a dysfunctional pattern that has been passed down generation after generation that i am here to break it's been broken in our family. We don't operate that way. And I am leading the way for other women to step into it. So if you're sitting here listening to this conversation and you say, I am that mother, I do operate in mom guilt. And maybe you've already stopped listening because you don't want to hear it. Because it's coming from a place of let's move forward together. Don't compound your guilt and feel guilty and say, well, I've experienced mom guilt. And there's this woman over here saying she isn't. So what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. I've just made a choice just as easily as you can make a choice of what you are willing to settle for 
what you're willing to stand for in your motherhood. So I invite you, I invite you to really take a stand for who you want to be in motherhood. And I feel very confident in making the claim right here, right now, that no mother came here to be a mother and experience guilt and feel bad about the mother she's choosing to be. She wants to feel, you want to feel empowered and confident and capable and ready and willing to experience the full extent that motherhood has to offer and what you're experiencing right now, even if it's a big festering pool of mom guilt, that's where you are. So now what? Mm. What's next? Mm. No, thank you. Don't be rude, please. What's next? What's next for you? What's next for your children? This is what I really want to offer as a takeaway here in this podcast is what is possible. Take some time. Think about this. Integrate. Okay, mom guilt, not a real thing. Just because everybody talks about it doesn't make it real. If we stop talking about it, if we stop talking about it, it will go away. I know that sounds crazy. I promise you it's true. The things that we accept and the things that we say, well, that's just the way it is, that's never just the way it is. It doesn't have to be that way. And we have the power to change it, especially in this beautiful, sacred relationship we have with our children when we tend to it, when we mend it, when it requires mending. And we are willing, this is such the big piece, when we are willing to take total ownership for who we are and why we feel the way we do without projecting any of that onto our children, then we keep the waters that run super clear. And then we can always flow to our children and our children can always flow to us. Somebody once said to me, a friend and a colleague of mine whom I love, respect and adore deeply, very early on when my daughter was born, said to me that every day as a mother is just another step in letting go. And I didn't really feel super pleased <laughs> at that moment when she said it. And I was at a very different point in my journey at that time. And I continue to come back to reflect on that. And I, for a while, really would have said that I, I disagreed with that, that I don't think that that's true. That because how I internalized it at the time when she said it uh, was in the context of our conversation was that we were letting go of our children. Every day we let go of our children a little bit more. And, and I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that at all. In my experience, it has been the opposite. Every day we have the opportunity to strengthen and amplify and really revel in the strength and foundational solidity of our relationship with our children. How I could frame that and say that every day is a process of letting go is every day is a process of letting go for us for us as mothers to let go of the things that no longer serve us so that we may be clear and be present and be ready and willing to be in relationship with our children. And there, right there, inside this space. That's okay if they're giving you the... Is everything that you've ever wanted. Is the joy and the ease and the bliss of motherhood. It's a beautiful thing. I invite you into it. Please, please. If this landed with you, reach out to me. Let me know what stood out. Have any questions? I'm always happy to be in conversation. And in that, I do have an offering. It's a bi-weekly gathering for mothers. And children are always welcome. It's an online space for mothers to come together to have the conversation. Conversations like these. And it's always intuitively guided by myself. Uh, spiritually fueled by my circle of angels and light and it's a really beautiful space to open up the kinds of conversations you really want to have that go beyond the surface and go into the depths that allow you to really integrate and expand upon all the concepts and things that I talk about here and share with you inside the Wild Mama podcast. So if you're interested in that, I will include a link in the podcast episode descriptions and down below know. and it will be coming up. Uh, let me just check the date here. Uh, 
actually will not be having that this week, but it will be coming up on Wednesday, March the 13th will be our next, so it's Wednesday, March 13th, 2024 will be our next online gathering. It's called The Conversation. You can find the information for that as well on my, in my bio, in my Instagram profile. Find me on Instagram at Wild Mama Spirit Medicine underscores between all of those things. My name is Angel Rockwell. I am the host of the Wild Mama podcast. I'm so thrilled to have you here. I look forward to being in space with you again and again and again. And I look forward to your success stories when you guys start popping out of the woodwork and saying, oh my God, yes, mom guilt, such BS, not a real thing. I choose not to adhere and conform to that concept that does not serve me at all. And this is what my life looks like now. Yes. This is what I look forward to. I know it's coming. I'm here for all of it. I'm here with you in it every step of the way. I love you so dearly. Mwah. Until next time, this is Angel Rockwell and bye. Ophelia, signing off for now. Ciao.